everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch. So have you ever gone over to Google to see how many people have linked to your website? If you have, the common way to do that is to type in the search box link colon, then your full domain name. So that was, that was what you had available at Google, and they typically did not show you anywhere near all of the links that they, they knew about. Well, great news, this has recently changed. I was over at Matt Cutts' blog the other day, and he was talking about a new addition at the Google Webmaster Console. And this is a place in it, Google where you can find out a lot of interesting background information uh, about your website. And additionally, over here at the um, official Google Webmaster Central blog, they talk about this new capability of seeing all of your links at the Webmaster console. And I'll put the links up to these articles so you can see them closer. But I thought it might be interesting just to take a look at some of the links that that, that I have had over at sagerock.com. Now, like I said before, what you would typically do is you would type in link colon and then your domain name, and you can see here that Google reports about 26 links to sagerock.com. Now, I know that there are many more links than that, and uh, up until now, to get a more accurate read on links, I would go to the Yahoo Site Explorer tool and see a, a much better representation, but now, at the webmaster tools section you can see there's a brand new button up here at the top uh, called links and they give you probably the best information of links that I have uh, seen to date. They give you, first of all, here on the left, external links and internal links. So external links are links outside of your site pointing into your website. Uh, and this is a great tool because it, it shows you um, by page all of the external links. So you can see here on my home page, I have 482 links. Uh, on this one, the next one down, five pay-per-click search engines, there's one external link. Uh, the articles page here has 47 external links. And you can click on this link here, the 482, and it will show you all of these links. And it's just really, really handy. Um, and so, and furthermore, it shows you here a date uh, outside here when it was last found. Uh, and so that gives you some inside information as well. And what is really handy, however, is that down at the bottom of this page, you can export all of this. You can, you can uh, download the table or you can download all external links. Um, It'll go right into Excel, and it just opens up here, and then here we have all of the, the links that um, for the entire site. And uh, this is really nice and handy because we've never had this kind of exporting capability from a search engine to this date, and certainly a search engine of Google's caliber. Um, and so that is really, really handy. Uh, and then also we have internal links here. And that is showing uh, a list of pages on, in this case, sagerock.com, that have links pointing to them from other internal pages. So here we can see that the home page has 17 links pointing into it. And again, you can export all of this out. So. If you have uh, a Webmaster Console, Webmaster Tools account uh, for your websites, definitely check this out. If you don't have a Webmaster Tools account for uh, your website, I highly recommend it. It's easy to set up. Uh, there's, there's, it's a two-step process. You, you set up a um, 
and you notify Google that this is your website and to prove it they ask you to do one of two things either add um, a bit of meta content into a page of your site or to upload a uh, an example page that they, they give you a long obscure URL but once that's done and it's verified you have tons and tons of information about your website and like I said the newest information right now is this this links information Google says that it's not totally complete Complete, but I would imagine over time that, that they, I think they're trying to make it more complete. They stated that the reason they hadn't done this up until now was a disk space. The search engine optimization community felt that really maybe the reason was because they didn't want you to know the all of the links that they had coming in to you. Um, and, but either way, now they're they're exposing them, and in a really handy, really great way. So I wanted to show this to you. If you hadn't seen it, definitely go check it out because you're you're just not going to get more accurate information or more detailed, interesting information anyplace else at this point in time. Okay, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch, and happy marketing. <laughs>